what is going on guys welcome back to another video now in this video we are going to be talking about cpa marketing specifically max bounty and facebook ads okay facebook ads is actually one of the best traffic sources there is it's actually a very very high quality traffic source not only because of the kind of traffic you're getting but because of the targeting options the optimizations lots of different things that you can do that's gonna get you results and facebook ads is amazing unfortunately facebook ads is very difficult to work with they're very picky they ban accounts things like that so i'm gonna be showing you an advanced method that you can use with facebook ads in fact i'm gonna be showing you two methods that you can use right now with facebook ads that's gonna work really really well and so the first thing you want to think about is what kind of offers you want to promote we're going to be focusing on two types of offers in this video because i want to show you two methods that you can use depending on your mood or what kind of offers your expertise maybe there's a certain niche you know more about than another niche and things like that now the first types of offers we're going to be promoting is, is going to be these small payout offers right and typically these are going to be surveys right so if i go into surveys and i apply search options i can also choose approve to run i'm going to see the cpa rate and so as you can see the cpa rate is going to be fairly low for these surveys that is because they do not pay you for a sale they pay you for the lead right so if the person's if the person completes a specific action they do something they're gonna pay you something like this so for instance if we choose approve to run and we click apply search options you're gonna see the different offers so let's say we want to um, promote survey voices I'm gonna open this offer up here and we can get a better idea what this offer allows and what this doesn't allow the first thing you want to take a look is does this allow social as you can see it does allow social so we're fine here the second thing you want to take a look at is the action cap the daily cap 200 actions per day which is fine if you ever go above that you can always contact your affiliate manager in max bounty or somewhere else and they're gonna raise it up for you the sec then the next thing you want to take a look is the, is the description right the campaign description and you're basically looking for two pieces of information one is the benefit this is the benefit you're going to be showing to the visitor right this is not a benefit for you although you know if you read it it's also a good benefit for you as well the second thing is you want to read the second part of the description this is what you need to understand this is the restrictions benefits as well for you but you already know the benefit because your benefit is 240 per lead and then you're going to build a tracking link right so we're doing facebook we're going to pick social we're going to pick a raw link and we can also select a landing page right this is a really really good option for certain offers it really depends on the offer some offers give you one option as you can see this offer has five landing pages so we can pick this one this one this one and depending on the landing page that we choose it's going to redirect the user there now when it comes to these kinds of offers we're not going to be promoting one of these offers okay we're going to be promoting multiple offers so what you want to do is you want to go into google docs remember google docs is free for everybody okay it's a free service if you have a google account you can use google docs and you want to create a document that looks something like this now let me talk to you a little bit about what i have here okay the first thing is i have a title make money from home right this is obviously we're not going to have offers we're going to say make money from home and you want to list multiple offers you do not want to list one offer for these kinds of offers i recommend at least 10 offers okay because they pay a relatively small amount they only pay you you know one dollar fifty cents two dollars three dollars so you want to create ten offers i have here six offers so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna together i'm gonna create ten offers just so you, that you understand how this works and then i'm gonna explain to you the format of this document for the best chance of having conversions for the most effective document so the first thing you want is you want the title right so i have make money check out check out these make money from home offers or you can put something like check out these amazing make money and the next thing you want is here uh here are some you could put some great resources to make money online from the comfort of your own home and then you have the offers now for each offer you want to be following this format you want the name of the offer you want the description the description you're going to get from the max bounty this is the description i would recommend paraphrasing it you don't want to copy and paste it you just want to you know put it into your own words this is what i recommend and then you have the description then you have click here to sign up 
Now you want to make sure you're listing the benefit. You can make up to $800 per week. The other main benefit is if you go to another offer, right? So if I go up, uh, some of the other offer, I don't remember the exact offer. It basically tells you uh, how much they're going to get paid for signing up. So look at this. Users can learn, sign up. Now, this doesn't give you a, a strong benefit, but some of the offers, they also tell you, you know, this one tells you 800 a week. Other offers tell you something like, uh, you know, get $10 for just, just for signing up. This is very, very important because this will allow you to give a straight benefit. So in the description, you're going to list that benefit. You're going to list 10 offers and you're going to have this document here. Okay. You're going to have this document. Now let me show you the second method you can use in order to promote a different type of niche, a different type of offers. And then towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to promote these offers. Now, remember, we're not going to be directly promoting a document of these offers. It's going to be very tricky if you do that and very, very risky. I'm going to show you a better way of doing it. Now, this is the first type of offer. The second type of offer is what I call lead gen offers. Okay. And these are not going to be surveys. They're not going to be sweepstakes. They're going to be all over the place. So one example of a lead gen offer that I really like, and really this is a good way to find other lead gen offers. If you, if you type something like Treehouse, okay, Treehouse, is actually an offer for a learn to code website, right? So if you open this offer, uh, you can promote Treehouse if you want, you can promote other offers. If you go into the category it is, right? So if you go into services, as you can see, you're gonna see other lead gen offers, right? So you can type approve to run and you can apply search options and you're gonna see offers that you can promote for lead gen. Now these are similar to surveys, but they're still different, right? And the reason they're different is that they pay a higher amount. Typically we have $12 per lead. We have 550 per lead. We have 20 per lead. We also have that 250 to 40 per lead as before. And so there's a little bit of a different price scheme. And this is another type of offer. Now for these types of offers, you're not going to create a Google docs. You're not going to promote multiple offers. You're only going to promote one offer because you can promote multiple offers here simply because they're all different. Like learn to code is, is a learn to code offers. But if you want to promote something like start a career, that's a different type of offer that from learn to code. And of course you can find some offers that are very similar, but for the, for the most part, you're going to be promoting them one at a time. And so the first type of offers we talked about the surveys, right? Surveys are all very similar. You can bunch them together and you can promote them in one document you can promote them as a group. The second type of offers I'm referring to here is the lead gen offers. These are very, very distinct. They're different because we have rent a car, we have payment processing, we have LinkedIn learning, we have Treehouse, we have grocery delivery. So you can pick the type of offer you want to promote, but you're going to be promoting it separately one by one. Now let's talk about how we're actually going to be promoting these offers on Facebook. The first thing you want to do is you want to go on Facebook and you want to download this extension called Turbo Ad Finder. Okay. This is an extension that's going to help you basically turn your newsfeed into just ads. Okay. Because before you start promoting on Facebook, you have to understand what kind of ads people see on Facebook, what kind of ads does Facebook allow. Okay. And you get a, you will this way, you will get a much better idea what's working and what's not working. It's going to make your life a lot easier for you. That way you're not, it's not a guessing game. You immediately see what is working, what is not working. So here I am on my Facebook newsfeed and I see an ad for a short time. We're offering Toonly for a one time price of 67 regular ply, price for 68 a year. And this is basically an ad create animated sales videos, right? This is basically an ad for a service. Okay. And this is absolutely fine. A lot of people like Facebook is going to ban my account. They ban this, they ban that. No, they're not going to ban your account. If you follow what I'm talking about, if you don't do direct linking, if you don't link directly to offers, if you don't, you know, if you provide value, you're going to be absolutely fine. So here's another example of an ad. It's for niche pursuits and it's the unsexy part of SEO building internal links, right? This is an ad for a product called link whisper. And this is also an ad for a product, right? And this is what Facebook likes. They like ads for people that are actually promoting their own thing. And that means if you are promoting something by yourself, it's absolutely fine. So what we're going to be doing is you're going to go to a service called Riddle. 
and you're gonna create an engagement, okay? And you will be able to create an engagement despite for what you're doing. You'll be able to create an engagement for, uh, for the surveys that we were doing in the first method, or you're gonna be able to create engagement for the lead gen offers that I talked about in the second method. And so what Riddle allows you to do is it allows you to, to create various personality tests, journeys, stories, responses, things like that. So for instance, I like quizzes. I do a lot of quizzes. You can create stories. You can create a form if you want. You can create a survey. And so for the first method, the surveys, you can basically go into quiz here and you can start with an example, right? You can, you, here's one example, here's another example, here's, there's lots of other examples. And this is just for one type of offers, right? You can do something called an auto quiz, you can do that. And what you wanna pick is, if you're doing surveys, make money from home, make money from your, the comfort of your own home method, you want to basically pick something that is related to making money online. And this doesn't need to be, this could also be a personality test, right? Management style, right? Management style is probably not a good fit but it could be something similar about making money. It doesn't need to be about making money. It could be personality about making money. So you will go on this tool. They have a generous free plan. You can get started very, very easily. And this is a really great product. So you can go to quiz, order quiz, tap and find, order it. You can even do an opinion poll and things like that. And after you create this quiz, so if you do like, let's say I pick, um, you know, I pick this quiz right here. And so when I decide on the quiz that I wanna do, once I actually do this quiz, at the end, once I configure it and everything like that. So if we go to my quizzes, I, ha I already have some of my riddles, right? So for instance, I have a riddle here. What is your management style? So once I click on one of the quizzes, after I finish configuring, I can basically list something ca called a call to action. And this is gonna be a URL where I'm gonna basically redirect somebody, redirect the visitor after they take the quiz. And this is typically gonna be this Google Doc file, right? After you complete this Google Doc, you're basically gonna redirect them here. And this is the first method. For the second method, it's the same thing. You can create a Google Doc, you can talk a little bit about the offer, you can write a review, you can explain a little bit about it, and then you can basically redirect them the same way. The most important thing here is you're creating engagement. You're not direct linking, you're not redirecting somebody anywhere, you're creating engagement. And this works really, really well. And now let's go into Facebook and I can show you in, in just really a couple of minutes how to set it up properly because I already have it configured. So here I am in my Facebook's ad manager and if we go into the ad sets, I'm gonna show you how, how to configure the ad set because that's the, the most difficult uh, part for a lot of you. So you basically do the daily budget, you can do $10 per day, absolutely fine. You want to run this at midnight the next day, right? So we're gonna pick it at midnight the next day we're gonna put 12 a.m. We're gonna scroll down. We're gonna leave it as United States. Age will depend on the kind of offers you're running. I would recommend for a lot of these offers, start off with 25 plus, because in my opinion, it's a lot better. Genders, we're gonna keep it wide open. And then you have the detailed targeting. So if you're doing make money online surveys, you can basically type survey and you will be able to find an interest, paid survey. Here you go, you have an interest that you can run. It's half a million. You can click on suggestions and you will get more suggestions. So now I have two interests for a potential reach of 2.1 million, which is really, really good. And so this is gonna be fine. For the other method, if you're doing lead gen, if you're doing coding or something, then you can basically type Treehouse and you can see if they have it. So here you have Treehouse company, 137. This is a small interest, but we can click suggestions. That's the thing. We can start off with a small interest and we can just keep adding suggestions. So I added two more suggestions for a total of three interests and I have two million reach, right? And that, that's all you have to do. That, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to click on the ad. We're going to load the ad and I'm going to show you how to create a really, really quick ad. So here I am in my ad screen. We are going to go here. We're going to scroll down and we are basically going to add an image, right? So if we go into create ad here, uh, we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna clear all of this. We're gonna add media, we're gonna click an add an image. We are gonna go into stock photos and we are gonna type surveys, right? We're gonna type surveys or paid service and there you go. You have surveys, right? You have images for service or if you don't wanna do legion, such, such, something like coding, all you have to do is type coding and you are gonna see images that are similar to coding. Look at this, look at all these great images. We're gonna pick an image here we're gonna click on continue, and then it's gonna basically select this image and it's gonna preview it 
as well in other placements which makes it really really great we have the website and for the website you are not gonna link to the URL you're not gonna link to the offers you're not gonna direct link you're not gonna link to the document all you're gonna do is you once you create this riddle or the quiz or something or whatever you're doing I've done this before in some of the other videos so you can check it out you're basically gonna link directly to this to this offer to this engagement it's gonna be a quiz or maybe it's something else you're, you're gonna link directly you can do tap and find you can do order you can do a list or story and that way you're creating some kind of engagement that the user needs to go through before they can actually get the document before they can get the end product and actually start you know taking the offers completing the offers and this is what you're gonna be linking so if you go back to the ads manager the website URL is gonna be the link to the engagement on this you know whether it's riddle or something else or something else and you're gonna be able to do that now the other thing that you can do is you can actually start a website by signing up with Bluehost I have a link in the description and then you can basically take one of these engagement options and embed it on your page and that way you can link directly to your own website and this is obviously a much better method this is a method I recommend if you don't want to do that then you can link directly to the engagement and use them to do it as well and this is how you set up Facebook ads the most important thing when it comes to Facebook ads is that you don't want a direct link you don't want a direct link you don't want a direct link to the offer you don't want a direct link to the document of offers you don't want a direct link to a PDF of offers you want to give the user something you want to give them something to play with and this is what engagement does that's what you want the user to do you want the user to have a good experience you want them to enjoy the process this is what Facebook wants so once you do that then you basically you know promote the offers using Google Docs or some of the other methods right and so this is the best way of doing it like I have here in this diagram this is the best way of doing it because it's a very very unique method and it's a lot better than direct linking which is what 99% of people are doing and this is why they're getting their accounts banned left and right and so you definitely do not want to do it now if you want me to talk more about this method if you want make me to make a video about riddle.com or some of the other methods there's a lot of these tools that really simplify affiliate marketing or CPA marketing I will make a video on that and so this is all I wanted to cover in this video I really really hope you enjoy this method let me know below if you have any questions or comments smash the like button if you enjoyed this video and you want to see other videos such as this ones and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I'm gonna be making more videos with advanced tactics advanced methods of promoting Facebook ads or Google ads or anything else alright guys so I really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe because we have daily videos on this channel every single day there's gonna be a new video with a new method a new technique something that you can put into practice right away and so tomorrow is gonna be a new method all right guys so don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new method that you're gonna absolutely love